our character is working great and the only thing that's missing at this point uh, when it comes to the health department <laughs> if you will is him being able to die so we've already set up a sequencer here with death and we also set up a death variable here a dead variable in the beginning when we started now remember that we placed the root bone we replaced it with a selector instead of a sequencer and a selector keeps going to each node until one of them returns false and then it goes back so what we need to do is create another condition here and this condition um, we say if dead equals equals one so that means if dead is one then this one returns and the rest of the sequence does not get executed so that means the character won't die over and over and over when death is true okay so let's go into our dead here and uh, death uh, the health if it's lower than or equals to zero death will execute so what we need is we need to create an animation and then we need to create an assign to assign the dead variable to true now notice that you only use one equal when you set things and you use two equals when you check things just like usual programming so I'm gonna give this a name so that I can find it better later so dead set dead to true and the animation is going to be called death animation you can give this whatever name you want uh, but the animation name of course needs to correspond to the animation of the uh, you know shock trooper dying and in uh, beta 5.1 we've added all kinds of animation so uh, one of them that I really like is die easy but you can also pick die rough or die rough short you can kinda play with all of them so let's call it let's use die easy and make sure you type it exactly the way it is otherwise it won't work and then how many seconds is probably in one second animation um, although it probably doesn't matter much because it's going to trigger the animation and then the rest of the sequencer is not going to you know override anything so that should work let's hit play here and the character only starts detecting us when we get close because of the sensor that's around it um, so let me reload this weapon here here he comes it's kind of freaky hit once hit twice and he dies awesome so that's exactly what we needed we don't have the looping death animation you know where he keeps dying over and over because we set the condition here at the beginning um, let's rename that as well just for tightness so now if you look at the aspects around him uh, there's one you know the smart sensor that's a little bit small so if we make it bigger then he will detect us faster once we get close there we go excellent so now notice that we're using legacy animations so things are a bit jerky uh, we may as well use Mechanim, uh, which we'll do when the new version of Rain comes out. We'll redo these tutorials with the Mechanim rig. Uh, but for now, let's go back into our hit animation and make this just a little bit shorter, 1.5 or so, because it was a little bit, you know, jerky. So now it's just the tweaking of things. Let me grab that weapon. That's much better. And then he falls. Wonderful. Awesome. Okay, so uh, that concludes a little bit of his, you know, state of being, his health and stuff. And I think you know enough to expand on, um, on, on this, uh, you know, behavior tree, and that you, you know, hope you understand the basics of it. Uh, of course, we can move on into the next videos um, where the zombie actually attacks you instead of you attacking the zombie so we'll do that as well sometime soon uh, but you know for now these are uh, the new videos and I hope you enjoy them